Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you three different ways to blend your colored pencil in order to create a smooth painterly look. Typically I blend my colored pencils using a solvent, which is what I'll be doing with the first flower in this drawing, but I thought it would be fun to demonstrate a couple of other ways to achieve a similar look without the use of solvent. So I will be blending the second flower with pencils alone using a burnishing technique and I will be using a clear blender marker to blend the third flower. Right now you can see me getting started on this drawing. I was working with Prismacolor and Polychromos pencils on Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper. I always like to start any new section by going around the outer edges and then starting to block in any of the reference points like the veiny lines you can see me working on as well as the shadow areas which in this drawing were fairly light I didn't have any real dark shadows there you can see me adding a white pencil to create a barrier to protect that paper to keep the widest areas really nice and bright and then just continuing to layer until I am happy with the way it looks before I'm ready to go ahead and blend with solvent. Now here I am beginning to blend the pencil with solvent and for this drawing I was using Utrecht Nude Odorless Paint Thinner. To use this technique you simply dip a paintbrush into the solvent Dab it off on a cloth in order to remove the excess and apply it on top of the pencil. It's actually really easy to do. Solvent just breaks down the binders in the pencil pigment and creates a paint-like substance. And it removes any of the graininess you might associate with colored pencil. Once the solvent is dried, you can layer on top of it with more pencil and you can repeat this process as many times as you need to in order to achieve the look you're going for. I typically only need to do this once, but occasionally I'll come back in and apply another layer of solvent where necessary. This is an easy technique to master, but I would still recommend testing it out on a separate piece of paper before you try it on your drawing. Now I'm moving on to the second flower, and with this one I'm just going to blend with the pencils alone. And I'm starting this flower the exact same way. You saw me start working on the first flower by creating the outline and then working on some of these veiny lines to make sure I give the flower some shape and just blocking in any of the main areas, particularly the shadow areas. Not everybody likes to work with a solvent or even has that available, so I did just want to show another way to blend without the use of solvent. And up to this point, I am putting these first layers down the exact same way that I would have if I were using solvent. Because this is a light pink flower, I was doing a lot of blending using the Prismacolor White. And you can see in the video how I am still able to blend this out and get rid of any of the graininess. The soft waxy pencil works particularly well for blending. A Derwent Drawing Chinese White would be a really great alternative. And for this technique, I just apply several layers of the pencil using a fairly light pressure. Then I go over using the white Prismacolor pencil to smooth everything out using a firmer pressure that a lot of times you might hear called burnishing. And you can see how nice and smooth that final result looks. And after I have everything all smoothed out, I can come through with a few more layers of pencil to brighten things up, to increase the shadows if I need to, to add any kind of details. And you'll just see me layering back and forth with the different pencils until I'm happy with the results. Okay. 
I began working on the third flower using, once again, those same initial steps, several light layers of pencil. You do want to make sure that you have quite a bit of pigment on the paper before you blend. I like to have all of my values blocked in, meaning the darks and the lights all in the right places. And just again, enough pigment on the paper to have something for that blender to activate. So you need something for it to dissolve. And for this flower, I was blending using a colorless blending marker. There are a couple of really good ones that I'd like. There's the Finesse blending pen that I purchased on Amazon and the Prismacolor colorless blending marker. These are very similar to working with the liquid solvent in that you are basically just dissolving the pigment but the benefit of these is that you have the ease of working with a marker, which makes this a really good introduction to blending for beginners. The drawback of these tools is that they are a lot more expensive than the liquid solvents, and you'll likely need to purchase quite a few depending on how often you draw. And then I'm just going to layer over this until I'm happy with it. And there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll have some fun experimenting with different ways to blend your colored pencils. There's definitely no one right or wrong way to do this. And I think by experimenting, you can discover your own process and ways that you like to work. And if this video moved way too fast for you, I have a five part instructional series over on Patreon where you can watch me draw this in a much slower format with a lot of voiceover and a lot more content. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.